I mean, it almost seems like this is such a simple technique to everybody to learn to help fortify them against coronavirus, right? I mean, even yes. if you have coronavirus, do you think you could actually help to reduce the inflammation and the results? Absolutely. Uh, especially when you feel the symptoms, and I heard many already, but it is not medically researched. I don't know why, maybe they are not interested, like <laughs> you, uh, uh, yourself in your uh, uh, position with integrative medicine, you cannot make the money out of that. So, yeah. but oh, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go past and let's get back to the facts. The fact is that the, uh, uh, the cytokines, the interleukin number one, number six, number eight, and 11 are the damaging factors of the COVID. And we yeah. showed in 2014, in a comparative study within groups, uh, we showed to suppress it within a quarter of an hour. When you, when you feel symptoms of COVID, then get into the breathing and you will be effectively able to suppress the cytokines. That's it. That's unbelievable. So share, share with us what a technique of breathing that you teach is. And you just lie on the, on the sofa or in bed. And then relax. A relaxed body is able to store up oxygen in the tissue. So relax. There's nothing going on. Nice. Then you uh, take a full breath in from the belly, chest, and you let it go. And once again. And once again, we do it 30 times, fully in, letting go, fully in, letting go, keep on going. I explain what is happening. Yeah. We are blowing off the carbon dioxide, but it becomes very alkaline, more than normal. Mm. And that is a sign within the brain, two alkaline, two alkaline, adrenal axis activation. Mm. And then the adrenaline pumps in, it peaks, and anything that should not be in the, inside of the body is going to be eliminated, suppressed. And what is it in COVID? Cytokines.